Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Commander. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes, we're ready. Always ready. Good morning. Josh and I just got here on Sunday night. Yeah. So we are doing soj. <laughs> Mercury too. Fine, thank you. So this is our chairman and director. <laughs> 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 So where are you? Dear guests, please proceed. Let's proceed to the audience. Uh, the crew members will need to lead the way. Oleg, uh, please uh, stand over there. Prime crew only. A couple of steps forward, please. 
Prime crew, uh, move a little bit, please. Docking of the vehicle uh, that was carrying further the robot um, took two tries. Uh, so is it going to affect your preparation for docking? Uh, it only affected the aspect that we were previously going to approach MRM2 docking forward, and to, uh, currently we're going to uh, dock to the assembly compartment of the service module as a different docking port, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Oleg Ivanovich is, is your first flight as a commander, and you have two uh, new uh, first-time uh, uh, crew members. Uh, does it change your responsibility? The commander always has the main responsibility for the success of the increment and the flight. And I should say, though, that my crew members are very well trained. I, Jessica and Haza are well trained, maybe even more than they are, were supposed to be trained within the scope of their duties. That does increase the reliability of our program. So in our GCDC, uh, has, uh, uh went through Flight Engineer 2 training. Is he ready to become Flight Engineer 2? He's not just ready, he is Flight Engineer 2. Everything is great. Thank you. <coughs> Jessica, your research has come to its fruition and gotten published about the same time that you're getting ready to head off for your very yeah. first launch to space. Any last thoughts from you or your colleagues about what it's been like to be here at GCTC and have all of these things culminate at the same time? Yeah, it's been very interesting. She's speaking about my postdoctoral research, which actually was finished in 2012. Uh, it, was fly it was teaching geese how to fly in a wind tunnel to study <laughs> the hypoxia tolerance, how they tolerate low levels of oxygen in when they migrate over the Himalayas. And because I switched careers, I never actually finished publishing the work, and it happened to just come out just this past week at the same time. So it's kind of, an, it's an interesting time where both of us are taking flight, the goose paper is taking flight, and we're taking flight at the same time. And for me, it has been really an unbelievable experience training here in Star City. As I've said many times before, training here as an American in this seat previously secret city where the very first human <laughs> flew in space. It is an unbelievable experience and something that is really hard to put into words. For, for me, regarding uh, my feelings here in Star City, I'm really honored uh, to work here in, uh, in Star City, where it's the first uh, human uh, trained uh, to space. And also to work with this amazing crew here. Uh, really, they helped me through my whole journey here and whole year. Uh, from Roscosmos, from NASA astronaut also. Uh, they were helping us uh, in every, uh, all aspects. I'm really honored to be here today and uh, uh, to work in this international efforts uh, to explore space. So, we are ready to fly and we are ready to perform all experiments program we have. Thank you. نعم طبعا السؤال كان شعورنا ان نتدرب في مدينه النجوم في ستار سيتي نعم فنحن صراحه نحن نسعر بالفخر والاعتزاز ان نحن مثل دوله الامارات والوطن العربي ونعمل في هذا المكان اللي تدرب فيه اول رائد فضاء في العالم يوري جاجارين فطبعا هاي فرصه كبيره ان نحن نتعلم ونعرف اكثر عن هذا المجال وناخذ هاي الخبره للوطن العربي تدربنا مع طاقم رائع صراحه وبانتظارنا طاقم اكثر روعه على محطه الفضاء الدوليه ان شاء الله اللي بنلتحق فيهم ان شاء الله بعد 15 يوم. بس شو اخذ معك الفضاء؟ والله انا اخذ معايا احلام وطموحات ورؤيه شعب دوله الامارات والوطن العربي كله، هذا يعتبر فخر وحده وما اخذ معي طبعا اشياء رمزيه صوره الشيخ زايد الله يحفظه يوم التقى باول رواد فضاء من ابولو سويوز. وفي سنة في السبعينات وكان يحدثون عن عن الفضاء وعن الاستكشافات ما أخذ معي مصحف الكريم ما أخذ معي قص كتاب قصتي للشيخ زاي الشيخ محمد بن راشد آل مكتوم وأيضا ما أخذ معي أشياء تذكارية أخرى. 
<coughs> Oleg Ivanovich, overall for you and uh, for all the crew members, will your relatives uh, travel to Baikonur to send you off? Yes, my family are planning to travel. My wife and my kids are planning to watch our launch. Jessica, how about you? Yes, my mother is traveling, uh, two sisters and my brother and friends. My wife, of course, and children, and also my friends. Friends, your managers, of course, a lot. For us, it's a huge moment to fly into space for the country, of course. So is everyone following your training? Yes, of course. For Roscosmos Television Studio. Big space dream. Before, I mean? Now. <laughs> My big, big uh, space dream is to join this uh, uh, ISIS uh, group and uh, to the I mean the International Space Station and to work with them uh, in one team. This is our goal to form uh, humankind to explore space and beyond. Can you repeat in Russian? <laughs> yeah, da. Uh, 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 for me, my dream uh, is to fly uh, into the ISS in orbit. Any other questions? I think uh, enough has been said. Uh, the um, doctor from the Arab side is going to go. Bye bye. Let's say bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you.